Hello guys. So, if you're looking to use Mid Journey Bot in your Discord server, so if that's the case, you have come to the right place. Because today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. Now, firstly, what you have to do is just simply go to a browser and type in Mid Journey. Then just simply open the first link, which is Mid Journey over here. So as you can see, I have already created an account over here. But for some reason, if you don't have one, I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. So first, let me sign out from here. Now, to get the Mid Journey Bot, all you have to do is just simply click on Join the Beta over here. Then it will open Mid Journey. So over here, make sure you are logged in with your Discord account in a side panel or just previously log in your Discord on this particular browser, which you are going to use for Mid Journey as well. So after you've done that, just simply click on Continue Discord. So as you can see, it didn't work. So if something like this happens, just simply redo it again by just simply click on Join the Beta, then Continue Discord. So as you can see, after doing that, you will find the Mid Journey server in your Discord. So click on it and click on start outbounding over here then just simply wait for a few seconds now you have the access for mid journey so over here just simply go to newbie so over here in the chat box you will be able to create your own art just like everyone else who is doing on the server right now now as you can see there are a lot of people in the server which are using mid journey and it's quite crowded so what i will suggest is just simply create your own server and just simply add a mid journey bot in your own server then use it and there will be no crowd so for doing that what you have to do is just simply go back to mid journey server click on the mid journey bot just simply click on it then click on add to server click on the dropbox over here click on the server and hit continue then hit authorize now as you can see the authorization has been completed now go back to the server and you will find the mid journey bot has been added as you can see right over here now to see the mid journey bot you can enable the show member list over here that will show you the bot now to get something from mid journey bot firstly what you have to do is just simply type in backslash imagine now just simply enter your prompt whatever you may like like for example a cyberpunk style city landscape in 4k so after writing a prompt just simply hit enter now you can also check out few settings that mid journey provides so for doing that again backslash settings hit enter again and this will open the settings panel. Now over here, what you should do is always choose Mid Journey version 5 because it's the latest version. And if possible, you can also use the high quality option over here. So that's totally up to you. Now let's wait for the image to, to generate and you can close the option by clicking on dismiss message over here as well. So as you can see, our landscape has been generated. Now over here, you will have few options. So the U1, 2, 3, 4 are the options to upscale an image. Like for example, for U1, you can upscale this one. U2 is this one. U3 is this one. And U4 is this one. Now, let's say for example, if you want to get a singular image of, let's say this particular image. Now, what you can do is just simply click on U4 and that will enlarge this particular image. So it will take few seconds. So wait for it. Now, as you can see, it enlarged this particular image. Now, if you want multiple variants of a singular image, so what you can do is you can click on V3. So what V3 does is it will create multiple variants of a singular image. So for example, V1 is this one, V2 is this one, V3 this one, V4 this one. Now, if you want variants of a particular scene or an image, let's take this one for example. So what you can do is just simply click on V2 over here and it will create four variants of this particular image. You can scroll down and see that it has started working. So wait for it to generate. Now, as you can see, it created four different variants of that particular image, as you can see right over here. Now, the last option is this particular option, which is the redo option. So you can use this option if you enter the prompt and you do not like the result that it is showing to you. Uh, you can just simply click this option and it will create everything from scratch again. As you can see right over here, it have already started. So this time it will give you completely different results. So wait for it. So as you can see, it gave us completely new result as you can see right over here. Now, let's say if you want to download a singular image in highest quality. For doing that, firstly, just simply choose the image just like that. Now, click on the image and then choose open in browser. Now, all you have to do is just simply right click, save as image and save it on your desktop. Then just simply open it and you will have the image. So that's it. And thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care.